Hey everybody, Jack Clips Painting here with another entry in the Just the Tip series and today we are going to be painting a White Scars Space Marine. Starting off with some Steinal Res Gray Primer. I don't use this very often, but uh, because White Scars are that pearly white armor, we're going to be starting off with a gray and work up off of that. So, you know, just get your primer down nice and thin, super easy, and then we're going to get into establishing our white armor with a really cool airbrush gradient. Alright, so for our first color we're going to go with Celestra Grey. This is one of the few Citadel paints that I still use. Love this base color grey. And uh, we're going to be establishing our first highlight on the model, kind of a base highlight or an undercoat highlight, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to maintain kind of a 90 degree or higher spray pattern on the model so that uh, if we look at it from the underside, you can still see that kind of darker gray primer and then everything on top is going to be our lighter Celestra gray. And I've also adjusted the light on our camera here because uh, we are going to be working with whites and I want you guys to be able to see what we're doing so the lighting is going to be a little bit darker so as not to reflect so much. And then we're going to start off our next highlight with Wolfland Grey. It's a little bit brighter. This is technically what I would call kind of an off-white, like a gray off-white. So um, a lot of times uh, when you look at Wolfland Grey on camera or in a picture it's going to look white but in real life it's a little bit darker you're going to be able to tell that it's a gray um, and this is kind of what we're going to start establishing our brighter gradient with Okay, and then we're going to mix some Slow Fuse Gaming Special White into the pot with some leftover Ulthwin Grey and uh, kind of target some highlights with that. It's going to seem uh, brighter, but once it dries, it's going to mute down a little bit, so it's not going to be uh, pure white. Uh, we're going to save that for the next step. So we're just going to be focusing on our brighter points, uh, tops of the boots, shoulders, tops of the helmet, that kind of thing, just like all of our other Space Marine videos. Okay, so now I'm going to go with our Slow Fuse Gaming Special White one more time and I have rinsed out the airbrush. This is pure white. I know that normally I say don't ever use pure white, but for White Scar's armor, it's got to be that, you know, super nice clean white. So I'm using the pure white as kind of our last little targeted highlight to uh, get those brightest points in the armor exceedingly bright just like the brightest white that we can get because I want to make sure this armor is nice and uh, clean white even when we put on our wash. Okay, so now that our armor is done, I'm going to pull out some flat red from Model Color, and this is going to be our trim for the shoulder pads. Uh, White Scars have that really nice fire truck red as the uh, trim color for the shoulder pads, so I'm just going to take my time, be super careful. Um, you know, I'm always a little shy around uh, painting other colors on top of white, especially if they have white armor, because if you mess up, you know, you got to pretty much got to re airbrush that area there's no real way to uh, to fix that white gradient by hand because white is such a hard color to paint with so you know just slow down get into that mindset of taking your time be super careful with those brush strokes be mindful of where uh, you know you're you're touching the model when you're in those really tight spaces with the brush because you don't want to be uh, hitting anything with the side of your brush and getting a spot of red paint on that nice white
All right, now that our shoulder pad trim is done, I'm gonna pull out some Necro Gold from Scale 75, and we're gonna do our little chest eagle. Um, depending on which uh, source you're looking at or um, which kind of painting era you're looking at with the Space Marines, you can see white scars with uh, a red winged chest eagle or a gold chest eagle. I kind of like the gold chest eagle, so that's what we're going with here. Just kind of a nice darker uh, gold with the scale 75 necro gold. And it's really easy to paint with. It's uh, honestly the best base color gold that uh, I've ever worked with, so I pretty much use it for all of my base colors. And again, I'm just being super careful, taking my time, because I don't want any uh, splotches of gold to get onto our white armor and uh, have to sit around and do cleanup. So just take your time. It really doesn't take as long as you think it does if um, you're not making mistakes because then you have to go do cleanup, which is even more time that you have to work on it. Okay, and now we're gonna pull out our model color black and do our joints. Um, I've said it in our other videos, but in case it's the first video you're watching, I prefer uh, dark black rubber style joints for Loyalist Space Marines and metallic joints when I'm doing Chaos Space Marines, but this is entirely optional. So if you feel like you want to do steel color for the joints, uh, feel free to go ahead as long as that steel color is dark enough to get you some color separation with the, uh, the white armor. Feel free to do that. I prefer black though, so that's what we're doing in this video. Okay, so now that's all ready to go, we're gonna bust out our wash. I've got our Army Painter Quick Shade Wash, Mixed Medium, and some Dark Tone. And I've had people ask me kind of the ratio that I use. Uh, this is always a hard question because I'm the type of painter that does stuff based on feel. So I don't ever really do uh, one drop of this or two drops of that or whatever. So um, since we're doing kind of an odd mixture here where we're kind of getting a, a gray wash using that quick shade mix medium and the dark tone, I wanted to show you guys that it was basically just kind of a drop of each and some water because I didn't want it to stain our white armor and I wanted it to just be uh, just gray enough to kind of shade our recesses but keep our armor nice and pearly white. So uh, that way you can see how I did that on this model. All right, and now I'm gonna take some straight dark tone and be very, very careful that we're gonna do a pin wash. This means I'm just gonna put the wash exactly where I want it rather than kinda put it all over the model and then wick away the excess. And we're just gonna hit that uh, metallic gold chest eagle and I'm just kinda gonna get the edges of our shoulder pads and what I've learned is that it's actually easier to do a pin wash when the model still has some of that other wash on it um, because the uh, the wash will kind of sit in there and uh, go into the recesses without staining too much because it's already a wet surface. It'll kind of keep it right where you want it to go. And I just kind of want to get the little delineation between the uh, red trim and the white shoulder pad field a little darker just to cut in that detail a little bit more. It's still super clean. And you can do that on some other areas. You can see that I went in and got some of the other details, like the little vent holes and the, the faceplate and the, uh, the belt buckle, stuff like that. Just be careful. And for our shoulder pad trim, I got out some Wild Rider Red. It's kind of an orangey red, and it helps edge highlight our bright uh, flat red from Model Color. Super, super easy. Just catch those hard edges with the side of the brush, and it'll pick them out really nice and simple. And there he is. That's pretty much all we're going to do on this guy. Uh, the Just the Tip series is focusing on the armor. So that's what we did. Got a nice clean white scars. And again, we started off with some gray Stinal Res primer. And then our first base was Celestra Gray, followed by a highlight with Ulfland Gray. And then we mixed that with some Slow Fuse Gaming Special White. Link below if you want to find that paint. Uh, flat Red from Model Color for the trim, followed by Wild Rider Red and necro gold for the chest eagle and model color black for the joints and our wash was the army painter wash system hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial check us out next time and make sure to find me on twitch for the live show those are always where the fun is at and i'll catch you next time